Hi, my name's Frank Lindley, and uh, I work for J, J Cattle Company, and uh, we do a lot of ranch work, and we need horses to do our work, and and I basically head up the training process on all the horses, and and uh, we'll we've seen the colts come in off of the mares and be weaned, and and then we catch them and teach them how to lead and halter them and stuff and and fool with them and now we've got a colt that's two years old and we're going to prepare him to be ridden and we'll go through the steps and stuff of making a uh, what i would hope to be a perfect ranch horse and that's our whole goal is to to uh, produce a horse that we can use on the ranch and and uh, be be a very good willing working partner with us and He's not wanting to look at me quite so much with this eye. That's another thing that horses are, are split brained. They have a left side and a right side and just because he learned something on the right side doesn't mean that he learned it on the left side. So you have to work your horses equally on both sides. And they get better uh, with time and and Right there was a, a really good thing. That colt, it, it, it was almost like he was, he was uh, had a rope on him or he was haltered or something. He was wanting to come to me. I'm just gonna go ahead and rope him so we can kind of go ahead and. Get him where we can. We can fool with him here for a little bit. Whenever I pull on these colts, I, I'll pull until they give. And I, I try not to put any more pressure on them than what it takes. Um, same way with riding one. If I pull on him more than he needs to, then he gets heavy and and uh, i want him to be light i want a lot of feel there and so every time that that he does what i ask with a little tug like that right there I, I give him the slack back and that's his reward all these little things that i'm doing is is a preparation for the position for the transition that transition being getting him to do what i want him to do in a relaxed gentle frame of mind I just keep making it harder and harder for him to stay right there like that now I'm just gonna pet on him because that's all I asked him to do was to move I didn't ask him to go loping or trotting or anything else I want to pet around on him and just try to get him to go a lot of times I'll kind of try to quarter one off instead of just going straight ahead. And that way, he's not is less likely to want a buck. We just keep working at this and keep working at it. And he'll go to riding around here in just a minute and go to being a willing working partner and uh, a kind of a saying that a man I, I learned a lot of stuff from by the name of Ray Hunt told me that the first day he cost me money and the second day he holds his own, the third day he's on the payroll. So I'm hoping that by the third day I can take him and go to the pasture and do a little job on him. And, and it won't be much of a job maybe, but, but it'd just be uh, a little traveling job, maybe go check a windmill or something, you know, and, but it's a job. And I couldn't get there unless I was on my horse. So that third day he's on the payroll.